So, this story took place a few years ago, when I was still a student. I was shy and had few friends back then. I also enjoyed being alone every single day. I would walk alone from my home to school when it was still dark because I liked the quiet surrounding. It took about 15 to 20 minutes for me to reach the school by the way and I was always among the first to arrive at school. Oh, I always brought a pocket knife with me in case anything bad happened and I also took self-defence class as a precaution but it proved to be totally useless in this story. I know I should be more careful but I love the quietness so much that I was willing to risk it. Stupid, I know. Anyway, there were two routes to get to my school but I always walked near the only marketplace we have in our village because it was shorter and I felt safer when I walked there because there would be people setting up for business there. They would usually greet me when they saw me so when I began noticing this one guy just staring at me whenever I walked past there. I didn't think much of it. In fact, I smiled when I made eye contact with him occasionally. I was just being polite. But then I began seeing him near the school, just sitting there on the bus stand right next to the entrance of the school. I shrugged it off because there was a small shop located not far from the school anyway. And again, I didn't think much about it. I mean, it's a small village. Then, the creepy things started happening. Whenever I hang out with my small group of friends outside of school, I would see this guy and he would always just stare at me. Sometimes I feel like he was trying to get my attention because he would walk past the place I was sitting at several times until he got my attention. When he noticed I was looking at him, he would slow down and walk slowly while maintaining eye contact with me. It was so creepy that I usually pretended to be texting someone or talking to my friends and did the best to ignore him. It made me feel so uncomfortable that I actually stopped going out for a while and even if I did go out, I never strayed for more than an hour. I still walked alone to school though. I always pretended that I was talking to someone on my phone and started avoiding the marketplace and took the longer route instead, which was about 30 to 40 minutes walk from my home depending on my speed. This went on for quite a while until I just got tired of being afraid. I started feeling ridiculous because this guy never approached me anyway, much less attempted to harm me in any way. I convinced myself that I was just being paranoid. So after school, I began hanging out with my friends again. Then I saw him again, just standing not too far from where my friends and I were sitting down and enjoying our ice cream. He was staring at me. I got a little angry and tapped my friend on her shoulder and asked her about that guy and was he really staring at me or was it all in my mind? And I jokingly said that I would go there and punch this guy if he was. My friend went pale and told me that that guy was a child molester and a rapist and that he had just got out of prison and if he was staring at me, then I was in trouble. Imagine how I felt when I heard that. Well, after that, I stopped walking alone and a group of friends started walking me to school. I never saw the guy again at least for a few months. Then he was back. Only this time, he got braver, tried to talk to me when I was alone. I ignored him and I started getting really good at avoiding him. It only made him frustrated though, because one day, the bastard actually started chasing me when he saw me walking with friends near the marketplace. I took off while my friends covered for me. I really feel like a shitty friend here and while I get to safety, one of my best friends actually confronted the guy and asked him what he wanted from me. The guy told her that he only wanted to talk to me alone, that he wanted to let me know that he wasn't dangerous and that he thought I was pretty. He actually told them that if he could have just a little time with me alone, 
and he would never bother me again. Man, that made me shudder. When my friend told him that he was making me scared and that I don't want him to bother me again, he just got very quiet and left. The next day, he was arrested because he assaulted his niece. They said that he got very violent all of a sudden and took out his anger on his nine-year-old niece. Poor girl. When I told my parents what happened, yeah, I used to keep things quiet. This time I was really freaked out. They got angry at me and made my brother guard me whenever I went out. But thank God it was my senior year. After that, I got accepted into a local university and I never saw the creep again. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment below. All feedback, good or otherwise, is always appreciated. If you have any creepy stories of your own or have any topics that you would like me to cover, feel free to send them in via any of my social media. You can find all links to my social media in the description below. Until next time guys, make sure you lock your doors, stay safe, and I'll see you next video.